Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and I'm going to walk through how to find the oldest records on Ancestry for the region that you are interested in. So I'm going to follow the steps that I've also put in an article on our website. There'll be a link in the description below. But if you want a visual walkthrough, this video will go through it. So I'm just going to switch over now to Ancestry.com. I'm going to go to the search drop down menu and I'm going to go to the card catalog. Now there's a reason why I wouldn't go to search all records and put in an, an old date is because I'm going to get back mistranscribed records. I'll just show you an example. If I go, actually do go to search all records, which is not the way I would normally do this, and suppose I pick any event and I want to put in a very old date, so I'm going to put in year one. You can't put in 0001, it won't accept as a leading zero, so there's just year one. Notice down here I've got the historical records checked and the other options unchecked. I don't want to get those family trees that go back to Adam and Eve, etc. I just want historical records. So year one, nothing else, hit search. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a whole lot of results from data year one, including this US city directories for an Alfred L. Palmer who apparently died on the 6th of October year one. But notice that the collection is dated 1822, 1995. And if I go and look at it and I find Mr. Palmer, I'll just expand that. And you can clearly see it's a mistaken transcription. He died on October the 6th. 1895 so it's clearly a mistake I just go back to the search results I mean, all of these have similar errors that's why I don't bother using search all records so instead of that the way I want to do it is I want to go into search card catalog and that will let me use the filters to get what I want okay so because I'm using the UK ancestry website I get this extra filter that's put on by default that only pulls back records from UK and Ireland. I do want to look at American records, so I'm just going to take that off. You may not have this filter, depending on which website that you're using. Before I filter by category, I want to set the location I'm interested in. So I'm just going to choose USA here, and I'll just keep it at the state level for now. Scroll all the way down to the final filter, which is filter by dates. The way this works is that you can apply a century-wide filter. So the top row is all the 1900s, all the 1800s, etc. If you want to go into a particular decade, you would choose, let's say, the 1920s and the 1720s. For our purposes, I want to get see what is the oldest USA records and I will click on the 1600s. It will pull back anything that's 1600s and before that, if they exist. Click on 1600s here, and you can just see, looking at these collections, that the wills and probates, etc., we're going back to 1652, a directory of Scottish settlers, they're going back to 1625. So let's say I'm particularly interested in birth registrations, right? And what are the earliest for the particular state that I'm interested in, in terms of ancestral locations. I'm going to drill down into birth, marriage and death, drill down further into birth, and now we've got birth baptism and christenings. Again, we've got New Hampshire there, going back to 1631. These aren't going to be comprehensive, it really depends on whether your ancestor was in a particular town where the records were preserved, but always worth checking. If we want to go into, take a look at, let's say, Birth records in New Hampshire, click in on that collection, and at this point I'd run a search. So let's put in 1631, 1631, and see what kind of records we get. So here we have one record, and let's take a look at it. Okay, let's pull this up. So here we have Charles Frost, we've got his father. Nicholas Frost. This particular form has space for the mother's details, but back in 1631, this wasn't it wasn't recorded. But I'll just draw your attention down to the dates down here. So this is a declaration that the 
this particular record is a correct transcript effectively of an older document and it's dated 1905. So this can be considered a delayed birth certificate. A delayed birth certificate is issued at least one year after the actual birth. Obviously, this is centuries later. I explained that a bit more in our associated article. There's a link in the description below. So we looked at picking a particular area in the United States, a particular state, and browsing back to the oldest records and looking through the collections. We got back to 1631, but I'm pretty sure that in general we can get back further elsewhere. So if I go back to the catalogue search, card catalogue, there it is again. And in, in general, this display here is showing uh, the latest collections that Ancestry has added. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that uh, they've added a collection from Aude in France where the birth, marriage and death registers go back to 1553. I'm going to have a go now at finding the oldest record on Ancestry. There's a blog post on the Ancestry website from back in 2019 in which they said that their oldest record dated back to the 1300s. So I'm going to see if I can find one of these. So back here, uh, filter by category, I am going to, first of all, I'm going to put on the date. Choosing the 1600s, it will get me back to anything before the 1600s. From here, I'm going to pick the United Kingdom. I don't want the stories, memories and histories or pictures. I actually want records that have been recorded in some kind of official manner. And this time, I'm not going to look at birth marriages and deaths. I'm going to look at court, land, wills and financial. In general, you'll find that things like probate, wills, etc., things relating to the passing on and inheritance of title, those records are well preserved for, for good reason. So now I'm going to go into wills and probate. I'm scrolling my eye down the list and here I can see, we've got the 1500s here, but here I can see the West Yorkshire England estate rentals going back to 1380. If I go down a little bit further, I've got Wills of Canterbury going back to the 1380s. Aha, here we've got even further. I've got the UK extracted probate records going back to 1269. Does it give me a search? It does. Right, so I will put in the year 1269. Click search. Interesting. Okay. So we have apparently two records for Dame Christine Hutchins in, I think that's now Bridgeport. So I'll take a look at this record. Do I have an image? Maybe not. And no, we don't have an image. Well, we're not given a whole lot of information about Dame Christine. So what about Hillary Term? All these three records are they duplicated. So here's the text from the original source, and this is more information. And then if I take a look at Folk, James Dowdley, Folk, the Manor of Bentham. So we know that Folk here has a son and heir who is, who is over 21. Right. I'm being very Anglo-centric here, having just looked at the United States and England. But I just wanted to give you a route of coming to your particular country or region of interest and using the card catalogue to drill down into the oldest records that are available. hope that helps. There's a link in the description below to the companion article and best of luck in your research.